The United Nations General Assembly has designated 25th of November as the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. The premise of the day is to raise awareness of the fact that women around the world are subject to rape, domestic violence and other forms of violence. Furthermore, one of the aims of the day is to highlight that the scale and true nature of the issue is often hidden. Women's rights activists have observed 25th of November as a day against gender-based violence since 1981. This date was selected to honor the Mirabel sisters, three political activists from the Dominican Republic who were brutally murdered in 1960 by order of the country's ruler, Rafael Trujillo, 1930 to 1961. Nearly one in three women have been abused in their lifetime. A new report from UN Women, based on data from 13 countries, shows that two in three women reported that they or a woman they know experienced some form of violence and are likely to face food insecurity. Only one in 10 women said that victims would go to the police for help. Widows and Orphan Support Society of Africa, WOSA, is a global initiative actively operating in Nigeria and other parts of the world for the survival of widows, their children, and less privileged women. WOSA is registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Federal Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development, Abuja. Lagos State Ministry of Youth and Social Development. Lagos State Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. The mission of WOSA is to ensure 100% servicing and advocacy support programs for the benefits of the widows, vulnerable women, orphans, and girl child education. Speaking further on the elimination of violence against women, the president of WOSA, Dr. Tyre Thomas, in an interview, sheds more light on proactive steps to be taken to tackle this menace. Joining us live is Dr. Tyre Thomas, president of Widows and Orphans Support Society of Africa. You're welcome to PLOS TV. Thank you for receiving me. So violence against women is still very common even today. In spite of some of the efforts that some people, activists, organizations have put together, even governments. Why is it so? Um, the issue with violence against women uh, is the way it is because a lot of women have not been able to come out to speak out. And two, few that speak out probably are not getting justice to the satisfaction. So that is why we are unable to eradicate violence. If women can come out and speak out and say this is the challenge, this is what I'm facing. A, for example, a woman that is raped in Nigeria find it difficult to come out and say some gang people raped me, even if she knows them she will not be able to see. One, stigma. They look at the stigma. Two, they look at, to, will I be able to get justice? And really, the truth of the matter is, justice are not really prevailing for few that were able to come out. There are a lot of pending issues on violence against women. This justice not prevailing for those who have come out why do you think it's responsible for that? Why, why is the, just, the judiciary failing women in this? Well, our system, you know how it is. Uh, sometimes when someone go to the, a woman go, go to the police station to make a report about how she's been violated by a man, the first thing, a lot of questions that will come up. Why do you go? Why do you go with him? You know, why did you go where he is? Or uh, 
don't you when you were I mean when you were with him you notice any funny attitude why don't you shout so these are the part of what really makes some ladies if I to just come out and say something he said I will get more stigma if we just come in a caricature way so government should have a strong law against people who perpetrate this violence against women since the women cannot get protection and justice from the necessary organizations that should be proffering, do you have any self-protection tips for women? Of course we have. We have a strong legal unit, human rights, that fight this out for women. All the women that, that we have been unjustly treated, when this case comes to us, we, have, we hand, hand them over to our legal unit to ensure that these women get justice. And they are getting justice. They, as a the structural engineer, I've been to a site where, abandoned site where I was to send people away. I got a contract to renovate, to build, and I was in a hurry to send them away because it's a contract I want to. But when I got in there and I discovered that, that very day I was sending them away, I got to the terrorist unit, I saw a woman crying uncontrollable. I was trying to pass fire. But I couldn't. I, I, I had to wait and pet her. She opened up and said, look, our house was demolished in a quarter. My husband, when my husband died, that's the house we built. Now, we moved to this uncompleted building, this estate, abandoned estate, to, to, to rest, to stay with my children, two girls, 13 and 16. Unfortunately, that night, those two girls were raped oh. with her mother. Oh my God. And uh, she, when they raped her, they want raped the 16 years. They wanted to rape the lady, the small one, which is uh, 13 years. It was pleading. This one never knew, man. Please come and rape me one more oh. time. So, I mean, she said, when she was saying this, I was cold, and I saw. Well, by the time I turned, I saw a little girl covered with clothes. Okay. I opened. I discovered that was 13 years old. So we have to rush uh, them to the hospital then uh, find a way out, get them in a, a new accommodation, and to ensure that uh, life turned up well for them. So we took them to the nearby hospital, the Budo Hospital, my friend's hospital mm. in Aja. So we get them treated, and to the glory of God, they are now doing well. It's time for the women to come together and say, no, that we are not taking it anymore. Yes, we are not taking this thing. And I'm sure we're going to achieve it. Historical studies have shown that the plight of widows in Nigeria range from poverty and economic deprivation to marginalization and inhuman treatment in the husband's family and in the society. However, the study concluded that the widows themselves have major roles to play in addition to the efforts of well-meaning individuals, non-governmental organizations and the society at large in ameliorating their plights. One of such roles is to acquire vocational skills and trainings which improve their quality of life. Widows and often support Society of Africa, WUSA, has risen to the occasion to provide skills acquisition training and empowerment for widows so they can become self-reliant. So the next stage is to bottle it, put in a bottle and package for drinking or for selling, whatever you want. Praise the Lord. What did you buy you? The widows, having undergone the skills acquisition training, were empowered financially by WOSA to start up their businesses. Since inception, WOSA has been saddled with the responsibility of catering for the needs of widows through the distribution of relief materials, food items, clothing and free medical treatment.
The president of WOSA, Dr. Tayo Thomas, who is very passionate about bettering the lives of widows and orphans in the society, has discovered that due to the devastation and depression that many widows experience, which affects them psychologically and their ability to think right, there is a vital need for them to be counseled and guided on how to manage their resources and how they can live above depression. To this effect, the organization has engaged the services of sound and eligible counselors who talk to them and get them stabilized. Wusa is involved in other programs such as Wusa Scholarship Scheme. Thank you, Wusa, for supporting us and giving us free education. Thank you. Thank you, Wusa. Wusa Loan Scheme, where loan has been given to widows who are already in business but needs to expand. Thank you, Wusa, for supporting my business. Today I am smiling and I'm established. Wusa House Visitation Program. What's a rehabilitation scheme? What's a back to school scheme? I am Mrs. Felicia Okuwane. I'm grateful to WASA for what they are doing for the widows and the orphans. Like today, we we'll learned so many things from soap making to uh, um, the, um, soap making, meat pie making, cake making, and even the decoration. We did all that today. And uh, we thank God for even the empowerment they are giving to widows and the orphans. May God bless them. We hereby call upon well-meaning individuals, charitable and corporate organizations to join us in the campaign to eliminate violence against women and to empower them to make life better for them. Equality, development and peace. 